So with that, I yield the balance of my time to Mr. Morgan Latrell. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I'm, I'm glad that you're feeling better. My, to my colleagues' points, this, this is the military. Good order and discipline and good communication is, is our baseline. It's, it's the profound foundation that we build ourselves off of. And I know through your 40 years in the military, you've obviously had to relieve somebody of command. You've had to remove people from leadership positions. I, I think that, is that a fair statement? Yes, sir. And you've mentioned a few times that an individual that would be most in your circumstances that are, are sick and, and put into and, and taken to the hospital, I've had that happen in the commands that I've served in. And what the leadership did at any given level, leadership would move that individual from that leadership position. Number one, for the well-being, but number two, for the continuity of force, in case you need to be forward deployed, in case communication has to go by, with, and through you, sir. And you say the noti notifications, the proper individuals were notified. And I understand that. But as I play this out in my head, if the president was to call you, which I'm assuming he called you directly on your phone, and you don't answer, and then he calls, the sec he calls somebody in the Pentagon and say, hey, where's the secretary at? And they say he's in the hospital, all right? Then the bubble blows up. They're like, why is he in the hospital? So you see how the spider web could, could fracture and go in, in a thousand different directions. And my concern is that in, any, in your position, you're at the highest level, sir, but anywhere underneath you, you would have written these guidelines to take care of this problem set itself. But yet now we sit in this position where the problem lies on your shoulders. So when we talk about responsibility and accountability, this right here is setting a standard, sir, because of how this itself played out. As a lieutenant, if I was caught in this position and my commanding officer relieves me of duty, the first thing I'm gonna do is say, no, sir. The Secretary of State went through the exact same position I'm in right now, and I, just, I need to stay in my position. And now there's a leverage point that doesn't need to exist in the military at all. And that's just the perspective I have. You can, you can, actually, you can respond to this if you want, but remember, at, at your level, the, it is a razor-thin line of communication that cannot be broken. And this, that, that happened, sir. It, it did. And again, you are setting the precedent for everything down inside our vast organization. Gentlemen's time has expired. Chair now recognizes.